Well, I'd say welcome back to the grindhouse, but it's not a really good welcome back because uh, yesterday afternoon I received word that veteran character actor, producer, writer L.Q. Jones had passed away at age 94. Um, of course, most people know that The Wild Bunch was one of my favorite movies, and L.Q. Jones started working in the early 50s in a film called Battle Cry, directed by Raoul Walsh, who suggested he change the name of his, his, his name to the character he was playing, L.Q. Jones, because his real name is Justice McQueen, and of course we all know there was another McQueen out there that they didn't want to confuse it or whatever, at least that's what he had said in an interview. Um, LQ was all over TV in the 50s and the 60s and a ton of westerns. Um, he started working for Sam Peckinpah on Ride the High Country where he basically clashed with Sam over certain things but then in retrospect he realized that Sam had had it right and in his death scene in Ride the High Country he took an incredible bump instead of just falling down flat. Of course uh, he became one of Peckinpah's disciples, for lack of better words, uh, basically appearing in a lot of Sam's movies and always having Sam's back and defending him, even though he said Sam was crazy. Um, LQ worked for a who's who of great directors, including Don Siegel, Raoul Walsh, and actually Martin Scorsese in Casino. In Casino, uh, Scorsese approached LQ and asked him to rewrite his scene, and LQ sort of like, well, why would you want me to do that? You're the one who wrote that. And he goes, well, no, I, you know, I, you know, I, I shoot films on the East Coast, and this is out West, and I need, you know, the Western viewpoint, you know, for this character. So LQ did write it, and he had a lot of good to say about Scorsese and his co-star Robert De Niro. Um, I know that uh, for a while, LQ was sick. Um, there was some kind of a toxic leak under his house, which led to him not working for a few years. But he came back with the uh, casino, and um, I know it was another one. It was an Anthony Hopkins film or something like that. But I don't remember the name of it. He started cameoing in a lot of things, like Route 666 and other things. Um, as a writer, he wrote uh, A Boy and His Dog, the Harlan Ellison novel, and he adapted it to film. He starred in a couple other horror movies, most notably uh, The Beast Within. Uh, Co-starred with Clint Eastwood in Hang 'em High. And just a ton of work. And, you know, I know, you know, I knew it was coming. You know, it was only a matter of time. He was up there in age. He was 94. But still, when I, when I look at this, I just see another part of my past that's just disappearing now. Because, um... Let's face it, the reason I keep doing this thing is to keep the memories of the films and these guys that made the films alive. And uh, really sad to hear this news, and, um, you know, there aren't too many people left from those days. In fact, there's hardly anybody left, and uh, it's sad, but at least we got to see these guys in their prime as great actors, uh, just overall great human beings. And um, L.Q. Jones gave us a lot. He should have been a household name, but unfortunately, like a lot of character actors in the mode of like Leo Gordon and Jack Elam and things like that, they're j they just never got to be that household name. So, LQ, thank you for everything you've done. It was great watching you on screen, great watching you while I was growing up, and uh, your contributions to uh, the films will be greatly missed. So rest in peace, my friend, and thank you.